public communication system and that is called 1339 complaint management system. We set up the call center, 50 serious call center at the back end and we have given this, this number, 1339 call three number to the people of Karachi. From their houses they can call to that number, the call goes to the call center, they launch the complaint and at the same time with the friction of, of second, there's a, a screen in my office, it's all connected through the wireless and every complaint comes to my screen after every second. So while sitting in my office, I'm aware that what's happening in the city and I can make decision accordingly. So we have given the first voice to the people of Karachi and thousands of complaints are coming every day and day for the whole system. I'm proud to tell you right now that we are the only government organization there in Pakistan which has got an international certification of ISO on the service of this 1339 complaint management system. Let me just share with you that my city is unique in some other matters as well. That I being a mayor of Karachi, I don't control police department of my city does not come under my jurisdiction. The traffic police of my city does not come under my jurisdiction. So, there's no unity of command. And we have, du we have duplications command, we have, we have multiple commands there. So in order to have a sustainable growth, and in order to have a sustainable city, and the progress and prosperity, we must have a unity of command. That would be a basic key for any management to run. We, no, we can't run any management, any city, with so many bosses. There has to be one person responsible, and there has to be unity of command. This is what our recommendation and our sustainability, it's our sustainability demand. And this is what we have been preaching to our federal government and provincial government. And they, it won't be long when we'll be getting these powers to the district government of Karachi that we have delivered so far. Well, knowing the global phenomena, that today the half of the world's population living in, in urban center, and there, there, there are studies there in 20 years down the line, 70% of the world's population are going to be migrated there in urban center. So, we don't have any option but to face this challenge. We can't be reactive, we have to be preemptive. And in order to be preemptive, we have to plan well, we have to plan, in, plan before this, 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 these waves which are coming towards us. And Karachi, my city, is not exception to it. We get an influx from all over the Pakistan, the abnormal influx because of the industrial, industrialization there in Karachi and people come from all over the Pakistan and we will find people in Karachi from each and every area of Pakistan, all caste, priest, street, religion and in Karachi. So there's a need to have a proper plan in order to foresee those, <coughs> those influx which are, which are coming. So we must have and we are having a, a proper master plan, proper utility system, proper, proper basic infrastructure, proper transportation system for upcoming growth, upcoming influx there in Karachi and we are trying to be preemptive, not like 60 years back that today we have to, we have to, we had to spend 630 billion rupees, half a billion of dollars just to fix the border and service system there in Karachi because Karachi has still got a space and we, according to our master plan, we foresee that in, in 2020 the population of Karachi is going to be 30 million people and we have to have the proper infrastructure for that 30 million people who are going to come there in Karachi in future, ladies and gentlemen. Well, uh, I've, I've missed one uh, topic that is environment. Let me just tell you today the challenge and what we have done to resolve the challenge that we throw 400 million gallon water untreated into the sea. Out of 500 million gallon water, we have just got the capacity of treating 100 million gallon water there in Karachi. We have made our sea as a black sea. It has stinks. You know, the beach side and all, all the sea life is just ruining. Therefore, we have come up with a project called S3, that's the Greater Sewage Treatment Plant, and we are coming up with the 600 million gallon sewage water treatment plant. It's been approved, it's a 9 billion rupees project, going to launch very soon and will be completing in two, two years' time. And not only will we be throwing these treated water into the sea, but we will be recharging our groundwater with that sewage water. Public participation, the ownership. Three years after all doing all these things, first time in first fourth year of my tenure, I've asked the people to come and participate because people had the mistrust on government and they wanted to see the action first. So we had the action in three years, three three years down the line. And the fourth year, we, we told the people, look, people, we have developed this whole thing for you, not from my pocket's money, it's from your pocket's money. Now it's your turn to come and own this. Because if 
if I can plant million tree, I can can't have million of security guards to, to, to take care of those, those, those trees. Unless Nandi, you come and own that city. So these are passes, flowers, road is all belongs to you. So you become the owner and come and give your two hours for the, for the city. And I was surprised to know that I didn't know that people will just turn up in this big number. In one day, they just came up in 28,000 people and families came up and they, they enlisted themselves to, to be the participant and to be the owner of the city. And now in my hospital, my school, my parks and my roads, people are, are, are really, really working there. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for, for the opportunity that I can tell you with uh, great pride. Whatever we have done in the past three years, three and a half years uh, of the development of Karachi, one cannot compare with the total development done in Karachi for the last past 60 years. Having said that, I still believe that there is a long way to go and whatever we have done is just a drop in the ocean. And now I will show you uh, a 10 minute, minutes uh, video of Karachi which uh, uh, say that action speaks louder than words. Thank you very much for giving me this talk. streets, markets, and playgrounds. Lack of appropriate municipal services, piles of garbage. Lack of firefighting equipment. Inadequate facilities in hospitals. Lack of appropriate attention in educational institutions. Let alone any other facility, clean drinking water was a dream. But how could one expect this? We have had no master plan for the past 50 years. In 2005, after the advent of the new leadership in place, the image of city began improving. <laughs> 